and welcome to Wedding Day TV with me, Peter Sefton, on this day, the 14th of January, 2011. Uh, further news on the Royal Wedding, uh, there is a campaign by Streets Alive uh, to encourage uh, neighbourliness and community spirit by organising street parties. Uh, Chris Gittings from uh, Streets Live uh, has been quoted as saying, we expect millions of residents uh, will want to come together uh, and follow the tradition of closing their road to hold street parties around the royal wedding this year, whether or not they are a royal fan. But if there are costs, residents will not be able to hold them except in some richer areas. It's a question of fairness. Uh, this is um, to do with the council's uh, <coughs> uh, charging for traffic orders, uh, remove public liability insurance and also stop publicising road closures in the local press. These are the expenses which actually put people off from organising such events. Uh, in Bristol last year they actually had 120 uh, street parties. Um, oh, Chris has also added uh, the government and councils have this chance to decide whether or not they want parties as a British tradition and to be held at all for the royal wedding or at other times for the sake of building community spirit. Mr Cameron asked a question about street parties. He answered, yes, I think we should certainly make it easier for people to close streets and have street parties. Um, the website address for Streets Alive is www.streetsalive.org.uk And this is all from me, uh, Peter Sefton from Wedding Day TV on this day, the 14th of January 2011. Thanks very much.